Go Painters. I'm Tom, and I'm still your host on this painting journey. This is our 11th episode. Thank you for staying with us. Today we're painting an amusement park out in the east coast of England, all the way out in Skegwell. I always wanted to paint that standard amusement park painting. You know the one, the large Ferris wheel and the roller coaster. The shot's very standard. You recognize it almost immediately. It's featured heavily in almost every medium of TV shows and movies where the cast goes to the fair or the pier. And there's an amusement park and rides and carnival games. It's a thing. Uh, so I tried to get there to paint it at an evening, on a Friday evening. So, I mean, it's the summer, it's a Friday evening. Of course, it should be open. I was wrong. I was dead wrong. It was closed. Uh, and it's because there was a football game on, or soccer in an American. Uh, but the amusement park was closed and lights were off, so I had to wait till the next day. I got there bright and early, right after breakfast. And me and the wife got a quick dip of our toes in the North Sea, and I set up on the concrete walkway, had my composition automatically set right there. It's, it, the, we knew the painting right there. We knew the painting, this is what it's supposed to look like. It's, it's kind of one of those iconic things like you know from a distance. Uh, now, as I was painting this, I knew I was checking off one of those artist bucket list items, especially on my list. You may have the same on your list. It's it's fine, but it, it was definitely, it's all, I've always wanted to paint this setup with this subject, and this was an opportunity I wasn't gonna let go to waste. Now I've done that, and it's behind me, literally and figuratively. Uh, this will not be a subject I purposely take on anytime soon. This was a challenge, mostly the wheel. Not so much the spokes of the cars, but actually the sky behind it. The sky is very turbulent today. Clouds were moving through the area swiftly, and in retrospect, instead of painting each piece as I normally do, I feel now that I should have painted the sky completely first, very thin, with all the drama, and then the layer, the Ferris wheel and the roller coaster on top, with the thickness of the paint, without any lens to go, the, the colors for this were quite simple and the shapes fell in easily, but the putting of the pieces next to each other in the oil, couple that with the quickness of the sky changing and you do have a recipe for frustration. So, I do have a cone for you today. That is a old Buddhist tip, okay? Gudo was the emperor's teacher for this time. Nevertheless, he used to travel alone as a wandering merchant. Once, when he was on his way to Edo, the cultural and political center of the shogunate, he approached a little village named Takanaka. It was evening, a heavy rain had fallen to Gudo, and he was thoroughly wet. His straw sandals went pieces. At a farmhouse near the village, he noticed four or five pairs of sandals in the window and decided to buy some dry ones. The women who offered him the sandals, seeing how wet he was, invited him in to remain for the night in her home. Gudo accepted, thanking her. He entered and recited a sutra before the family shrine. He was then introduced to the women's mother and her children. Observing that the entire family was depressed, Gudo asked what was wrong. My husband is a gambler and a drunkard, the housewife told him. When he happens to win, he drinks and becomes abusive. When he loses his money, he borrows more from others. Sometimes when he becomes thoroughly drunk, he doesn't come at all. He doesn't come home at all. What can I do? I will help him, said Gudo. Here's some money. Get me a gallon of fine wine and something good to eat. Then you may retire. I will meditate before the shrine. When the man of the house returned after midnight, quite drunk, he bellowed, Hey wife, I'm home. Have you something for me to eat? I have something for you, said Gudo. I happen to be caught in the rain. Your wife kindly asked me to remain here for the night. In return, I have bought some wine and fish, so you might as well have them. 
Pei was delighted. He drank the wine at once and laid himself down on the floor. Gudo sat in meditation beside him. In the morning, when the husband awoke, he had forgotten about the previous night. Who are you? Where did you come from? Asked. He asked Gudo, who was still meditating. I'm Gudo of Kyoto, and I'm going to Edo, replied the Zen master. The man was utterly shamed. He apologized profusely to the teacher of his empire. Gudo smiled. Everything in this life is impermanent, he explained. Life is very brief. If you keep on gambling and drinking, you have no time left to accomplish anything else, and you will cause your family to suffer too. The perception of the husband awoke as if from a dream. You are right, he declared. How can I ever repay you for this wonderful teaching? Let me see you off and carry your things a little way. If you wish, asserted Gudo. The two started out. After they had gone three miles, Gudo told him to return. Just another five miles, he begged Gudo. They continued on. You may return now, suggested Gudo. After another ten miles, the man replied. Return now, said Gudo. But the ten miles had been passed. I'm going to follow you all the rest of my life, declared the man. Modern Zen teachings in Japan spring from the lineage of a famous master. Who was the successor of Gudo? His name was Munan, the man who never turned back. There are many layers to the story. If you need to re-listen, I do recommend it, but give it a think if you don't mind. As I said before, each one of these is different. Each one affects the receiver in a different way. Your point of view, your perspective, and who you identify with in the story is going to change. It's going to mean something to you differently. Uh, mostly, though, I hope you found it entertaining. And there you have it. Skegwell's Amusement Park. Hope you enjoyed. Tune in next time when we go someplace new to paint. And plan on bringing you along on our next adventure. So don't miss out. Smash that bell. Turn on notifications. So you'll be alerted to all of our upcoming content. And huge thank you to those that have already liked and subscribed so you keep up to date on all my adventures. Hope you have a good day. Happy painting. Bye.